it from head to toe, let it set for 15 minutes, rinse it out, and again, if it doesn't feel, um, if you don't get the conditioning feel that you desire, then we may go back and, and condition them as well. This goat happens to be pretty soft as far as his hair goes, a young goat that's, that's uh, got new hair growth, so won't take as much conditioning if you have an old buck, a yearling buck, a two-year-old doe, uh, something that, that has coarser hair. Um, it may take two or three really good conditioning uh, uh, treatments in order to, to achieve the, the softness that you're wanting. Want to be sure and get the legs conditioned. A lot of times you know, we do the body real well, um, but later we'll use the roto brush on those legs uh, to train that hair to stand up. And so getting good conditioning down on the hair and the follicles and the skin um, is essential to improving our hair growth on the legs. Um, you know, there's times we may just wash the legs uh, with the brightening shampoo, come back and condition them, then work that leg hair by itself with the roto brush. And uh, you know, nowadays, nowadays with the trends of, of goats being bigger boned and and just what the trends we're seeing in the show ring, you know, it starts in the wash rack on on conditioning these goats, working this hair. Everything starts right here in the wash rack, and we we get them conditioned good, we get them clean. Um, <laughs> And then we can go to working that hair with the roto brush and, and trying to achieve that look uh, that we're wanting when they go in the show ring. Well, we'll let this set for about 15 minutes. We've got him conditioned really good all over his body. And um, again, we'll get that hair going in the right direction. Uh, let it set for 15 minutes and we'll come back and rinse it out. Talk. Okay, stand back over there. Well, how many times, do, like, how often do you wash a goat? Like, is it something you do daily? Should I do it weekly?